okay, all right. Hello everyone, it's Nikara Baker. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, me and my friend Jackie, we are doing the first mukbang that hopefully makes it on the internet because I have tried <laughs> to do mukbangs in the past, but I do more talking than eating or I do more eating than talking. So hopefully today it could be a little more balanced out. We are eating Thai food. I got um, crispy chicken spicy tom yum noodles mm -hmm. we got crab legumes That's right really here good. and then we just got some regular wontons but i thought they were filled i don't know they don't look filled i don't know and then i i'm assuming they came with this looks like what sweet, sweet and sour, sour sauce yeah. and then what'd you get jackie and then for me i got myself a yellow curry I believe it has like onions, um, yams, and stuff like that. And then it came with some white rice, and then I ordered some fried dumplings. And we're gonna be sharing this food, so yeah. I know some of you are like, oh, that's a lot of food. We're gonna be sharing. Let's just go ahead, start, grab what you want. We're gonna eat a little bit, and then get into what we're gonna talk about today, because it's, it's juicy, y'all. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead, start mixing my noodles. I'm gonna pour myself some rice on my plate. I have a plate here. This is gonna be my first time trying this curry. I'm excited. Like, really excited. It's my <laughs> first time in general just trying like Thai food. Mm -hmm. oh, this is hot. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> that actually looks really good. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh. What is, oh, is that the wontons? What is it? I guess so. I, yeah. It has wontons in it. Oh wow. But it has like fish balls, shrimp, I think some pork in there or some like ground pork or ground chicken. I like to let the noodles marinate mm -hmm. in the broth for a little bit. But I guess I'll start off with my crab lagoons. It's, I believe it's like imitation crab um, and shrimp with um cream cheese in it and it's fried mm. mm -hmm. to drink we have what do you have you have capri sun right mm -hmm. capri sun i have shasta and then i have water here just in case so like to get rid of like the taste mm -hmm. or something I got scammed for the one hunt. I think it has like the smallest amount of filling. Kind of disappointed. Like, yeah, you see that? It's like really. Yeah. It's like a little drop. Mm hmm. What is it, chicken? I believe it's chicken, yeah. Mm hmm. for you mm -hmm. now as far as high school I know I'm referring to like everyone who's watching mm -hmm. but I know that not everyone had like a good high school experience mm -hmm. but I don't know about you but me I would say freshman and sophomore year it was whatever mm. wasn't that excited about it didn't really do much junior year mm, it was a lot better <laughs> than freshman and sophomore year, but senior year is where I feel like a lot of us were just thriving. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. And like now, me, I've definitely declined. Like my chart is just going down. Like 2017, it was going up. After graduation, it just went down. <laughs> yeah, I felt like that, honestly. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get me some of these. first had the fish balls because they put fish balls in here mm -hmm. it was so good i was like oh <laughs> we're gonna talk about a guy that i'm gonna give him the nickname overalls i'll explain why i'll explain why and this was the guy that i liked 
towards the end of junior year and majority of senior year. When I tell you I like this guy, I'm not gonna lie, it got bad. <laughs> like, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, it got bad to the point where I was stressing over somebody that I wasn't even in a relationship with. And he didn't even like me back, which is fine. I'm not salty, like. <laughs> I'm Gara. <laughs> reason why I'm giving him the name Overalls is because me and Jaden used to have that nickname for him just in case he was in close proximity of us or we were by his friends or with, like anyone who knew him and I don't know if you remember but he used to wear overalls oh every yeah now and then. yeah and Jaden it would be so funny because <laughs> when we would meet up during passing period um Jaden would be like, there he go wearing those ugly overalls. <laughs> and me personally, I didn't mind the overalls. I literally didn't mind them. I was just like, you know, that's what he chose to wear today. That's what he chose to wear. I don't care. He wore them often. Yeah, he did. Like a lot. He did. Like... And Jaden would be like, why does he think those are cute? And I'm just like, I don't care. I mean, let him do him. I remember specifically, now that you mentioned overalls, I mm -hmm. remember a specific time. I think it was during like a pep rally. Mm hmm. Because he participated, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <clears throat> and he had those overalls on, and I was like, <laughs> that's not the look, you know? <laughs> like, I was just like, oh, no, 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 no. Me, personally, I wasn't opposed to them, but apparently a lot of people were. And so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think because they were, like, too big. Mm-hmm. There was, were like, the certain, him. like, walk, like he would do. Mm-hmm. They were a little baggy on him. I think they were meant to be baggy, like the style. Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah. He does have like a best friend and we used, me and Jaden gave his best friend the nickname Eyebrows. When I told Jackie about him, she was like, you know he went to middle school with us. And I was like, he did? Like, I remember hearing his name, but I'd never seen him. Why does the neighbors have to be loud? Like, this is the shit that gets on my nerves. I don't know. I feel like I'm that person that kind of knows, like, not everybody, but, like, majority of the people. And I think it's mainly because a lot of us just went to school together. And it's so funny. <laughs> it's, like, for me, it's the other way around. I know everybody, but they don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> and it's so funny. Like, I know everything. Like, no, I mean, not everything. That's how everything, I felt. But when, yeah, when it comes mm -hmm. to, like, I guess you can say drama or, like, who's dating who mm -hmm. like i for some reason i know those stuff mm -hmm. like i know those things and i'm like i ask myself how do i know these things <laughs> like i'm not even friends with these people mm -hmm. i don't think that i'm like i was a popular person in high school but what i didn't like was that people would confuse me with the other kiara and they would be like oh are you kiara so and so and i'm like no You'd i'm be kiara baker excuse me and like i don't know why but i guess some people just think all black people look the same because i'm just like we all don't look the same if you see a picture of both of us we don't look alike so i'm just trying to figure out why people think we look like and we didn't look like mm -hmm. and then basically junior year of high school was the second semester so after we got back from christmas break yeah christmas break um basically my grades weren't good i'm gonna be honest with y'all okay i was not a straight a student by any means but I did what I had to do to graduate. I wasn't in choir for the second semester of junior year, which I was fine with that because I was like, it's okay because Miss Dang it, I'm gonna have to bleep her name out. But anyway, I was like, she's gonna make <laughs> she I was like, she's she's gonna accept me back. <laughs> I think every at that time everything happened for a reason because I think during during that time there was like something going on, right? It was like drama or something. What with choir? <clears throat> yeah. And you were like you t I remember you told me this. You were like, oh, yeah, yeah. You were like, I'm happy I'm not in choir right now. Mm -hmm. I remember you telling me that. Mm -hmm. You're like, I'm so happy I'm not in choir right now. Mm -hmm. So everything happened for a reason, you know? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, she came back. I remember I was in this office sobbing when my mom told me that she took me out of choir. I was literally sobbing. I didn't know that. Yeah, I told her because I didn't want her to be like, oh, where's Kiara? Because, you know, like whenever nobody shows, she'd be like, oh, where's so-and-so? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then everybody would spill the beans. Like, I wanted to tell her first before anybody else spilled the beans. I was making sure I was the first person in her office. I closed the door and Danielle was with me. And I was like, thank you. How you are? <laughs> and my mom took me out of choir. <laughs> she was just like, all emotional. And she was like, why? Oh. And I was like, because my grades are so bad. <laughs> and she was like, it's okay, Kiara, just make sure you get your grades up and you can come back. Second semester of junior high school, 
lots of things change but honestly it wasn't as bad as what I thought it was at the time mm -hmm. <laughs> like me not being choir like I think it was good for me to not be in choir at that time because didn't it kind of like kind of like crumble <laughs> at that time yeah was it there? was it was I'm gonna be honest it was not choir was not in a good place right mm -hmm. now at that time I made a decision because I was convinced by Danielle and the thing is I'm not on Danielle's level to take AP history and um, I didn't do good in it the first semester of senior year and my mom was like well why are you taking AP history and I was like well because I wanted to and she was like well don't you have to test it and I was like mm, no we can just go into the class if you just request it you can get into yeah. it and then once she seen that I didn't pass it she was like no just take regular history so she called up the counselor and said hey you need to switch Kiara out of these classes, take her out. And so I ended up in a history class with a teacher that I had before, but nobody really cared for him. Nobody really liked him. Let me just say, if you went to high school with me and you had this history teacher, you know. Junior year, I had him again for history and the only available spot that was open was behind overalls and I I kid you not it was like a scene from a movie once I saw his face Jackie it was like everything just faded out <laughs> and it was just him like no joke <laughs> like everything just faded out <laughs> birds chirping <laughs> the only thing that was like disappointing is that he hardly came to class mm. hardly yeah. and when he did come to class somehow he would get a slip to go to the nurse's office. He would never get in trouble, I remember that. No. <clears throat> and I'm like, how is he doing this? How I don't understand. But um and when he did come to class, he never had a freaking pencil. He oh. would always turn around and ask me for a pencil. Yeah. And I, at one point I wanted to be like, Well, do you even have paper? Like, <laughs> do you come to school <laughs> prepared or not? Mm. Yeah, he was sitting next to He was sitting next to overalls. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting that this is going on YouTube and I can't give people's name out. He used to talk to this person, not going to say the person's name, a lot. And I knew the person that he was sitting next to as well. And I was like, okay, like maybe if I try to talk to the person he sits next to, maybe like we can get into a conversation together. Whatever I would try to talk to um, that person overalls would never turn back and talk to me mm. and i'm just like what the f you can sit up here and turn around and ask me for a pencil but you can't turn around and have a conversation with me one day the guy that s sat next to me we were just talking one day and he was like um he was asking me like personal questions but it was personal questions that i didn't mind like answering yeah and so <clears throat> he was like oh what's your like how, do you have a boyfriend i was like no i'm single and i said it loud too i was like no i'm single <laughs> and he was like oh well, have you ever had a boyfriend i was like yeah and he was like oh what's his name like did he go to school and i was like no he doesn't go here and then he was like oh well what's his name conveniently that ex-boyfriend name was the same name as, as overalls and so when i said overalls name overalls turned back and he was like wait what? i was like yeah he he doesn't go to this school he's like oh okay and so i remember that it was so awkward i was like i don't even want to move i think i think we had to get up to like get something or turn in something i didn't even want to walk past him <laughs> the next thing that i wanted to talk about is i was about to say his name again is overalls and his house parties you remember his house oh parties? that guy yes so overalls his friend which his nickname is eyebrows and for those of you who are wondering why his nickname is eyebrows is because he had very thick eyebrows very, very nice strong eyebrows. thick yeah they were nice but they were like super <clears throat> thick and so that's why his nickname is eyebrows but him and eyebrows um they used to have house parties all the time. They had like a little click. I don't know if it, it still exists. I don't know if they have house parties now. But there were times where I was like very tempted to go to his parties. There was this one time where he did have a house party. And I was actually spending it at Daniel's house. Mm. It was pretty close to Daniel's house. And 
I told Danielle, I was like, I'm kind of tempted to go to his house party. I, I just felt like my mom was going to catch me. And I was like, you know, I'm on good terms with her right now. Like, I didn't want to mess that up. Mm -hmm. So, but I think we drove by it. I think we drove by it just to check it out. And plus, like, even if we did go to the party, I didn't have good clothes. Like, I didn't have, like, my good clothes to, like, stunt on him. Show him <laughs> what I'm working with. It was like, I, I think I was just going to spend the night with Danielle for, like, that one night. And that was it. So, yeah, I think I just brought, like, some sweats and <laughs> stuff. That was it. The reason that, like, I knew about these parties, like, to even begin with, a lot of people, like, from different classes, they would just talk about mm -hmm. it. They would bring up, like, the conversation, like, oh, did you hear what happened? Or, mm -hmm. like, did you see that? And stuff like that. It's kind of funny because some people that I've met who have went to like a good majority of his parties, they would say like, oh, it wasn't that good. And then some would say, oh, it was really good. Mm -hmm. But I feel like the ones that said it was really good, they were drunk. And yeah. that's why I'm like, that's why it was good because you were drunk and you probably didn't know what was even going on. And like, okay, so here's the part where I was getting stressed out over him, but... Since I followed him on Snapchat, he would post about his parties. And I would get worried because I'm just like, okay, there's underage drinking. Don't know if he's drinking. And like, what if, if he didn't drive, he drove with somebody else and they were drinking. Like that was my worry that like an accident would happen. And I know some of you are probably like, Kiara, you were not with this guy. I know, but like, you just never know when those yeah. thoughts just mm -hmm. come up. <clears throat> Me and Jackie are filming with no air on. Because I have tried to record with air on before. And, and the, like it was so loud that like you could barely hear the voices. So we're sweating over here. Just know that. And we're eating spicy food too. Sriracha. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're sweating over here. So... And that's what it's going to be like for me, like, recording videos. Like, I can't have the air on. And I thought it would be really cute to wear, like, a long sleeve. And dress it. It's 100 or something outside. That's why I wore this dress, because I was like, mm-mm. I need to let certain parts of my body breathe. <laughs> and then for me, like, I'm the type of person to, like, sweat a lot. It's just something that I have to deal with. I've dealt with, like, a long time. Like, I'm really sensitive to the weather for some reason. And, like, the moment I just walk into, like, a house or, like, a home or whatever and there's, like, no AC, I start to sweat immediately. And you can tell. It's, like, all over, like, my forehead. It's, like, not cute at all. That night that I spent the night at Danielle's house, I did want to go to his party. But I'm not sure if it was before this party happened or after this party happened but one of his parties actually got shot up at i, don't I know. didn't know that oh yeah it was all over twitter supposedly nobody got hurt thank god but i think the police were called um because obviously it's gunshots after i heard that i was like oh no i'm not going to his party mm -mm. i'm not going to any party because i was just like i'm not about to sit up here and possibly get arrested for maybe underage drinking and you know being involved in that type of party so if you're someone who parties and you're under the age please just be careful don't be dumb and drink and drive yeah just don't i i don't <clears throat> i don't condone underage drinking but if you do be smart please be smart like have a ride get a uber yeah yeah just be smart and be on the lookout. Make sure you always have your stuff and don't stay at parties the whole time. Like you don't need to be there the whole time. Yeah, don't be there until like when everybody leaves and they're like, yeah, don't do that. Mm -hmm. Like for me personally, I don't drink, but like if I'm going to be with somebody who I know is going to drink something, I make sure like not to watch over them, like babysit mm -hmm. them, but at least just be aware of where they're at and mm -hmm. who are they with, you know? 
Because it's scary. We live in a scary world and you never know what's going to happen. And don't leave your friends. If you came with friends, don't leave your friends. Yeah, don't be... Yeah. If you can't find them, call the police. I don't care if you ruin the party. Call the police. Your friends are important people. Yeah. I don't know what to eat next. <laughs> I like took a bite of everything. Yeah, oh, I didn't have the soup yet. Senior year is the year where I was pretty much determined to have a boyfriend. Now, I know some of you are like, Kiara, you don't need to have a boyfriend. You don't need a man, blah, blah, blah. I know that. I get that. Comprehend that. But I got tired of seeing all these couples having their fun, doing couple things, going to prom together. I was like, you know what? This is my time to shine. The thing about overalls and his friend eyebrows they both had staring issues and i don't know if they did it just to like mess with me because basically the end of junior year he knew that i liked him his response wasn't a bad response was he was basically just like oh well, i don't know her that well like if i oh yeah if i got to know her like who knows yeah i remember that yeah and so i was like well he would have got to know me if he was in class i had a friend basically my wingman but he wasn't a good one i'm just gonna put it out oh. there i seen one day that he was sitting with overalls at lunch mm -hmm. and i was like huh okay so then i started talking more like i mean we would talk every now and then when we saw each other yeah but we started talking more because we connected over him he gave me his number and we would text each other like all the time he was like you need to tell overall it's not that easy i'm afraid of rejection yeah. <laughs> and he was like he was like well you won't know if he likes you if you don't tell him the only thing that he succeeded at was like texting me in the cafeteria and we would be like one table apart and anytime he texts me like we just had this connection like we knew that we would, like had to look at each other and so like me and Jaden we would just be oh. staring back at each other mm -hmm. and then at some point overalls knew that okay Kiara I guess they're friends mm -hmm. and so whenever he would look overalls will look like he'd turn his head and be like, what are you looking at? And mm -hmm. then he would see it's me and Jaden and be like, he texted me and be like, oh, did you see him look back? And I was like, yeah, so I'm looking back. Mmm, like, this is good. It's really good, right? Mm -hmm. We're going back to junior year for like a quick second, but I don't know if you remember, but eyebrows, he would always look at us too. I don't know if you remember. He would look back? Yeah yeah and i remember when like when i would sit in my regular spot which by the way me and jackie when we had a uh, junior we had english together jackie sat on one side of the classroom and you sat on, I the, sat other on the other side and i would literally be talking to jackie across the classroom <laughs> she would be like give me signs like <laughs> and then at one point i was like i don't feel like yelling across the classroom i'm just she gonna go to move. the other side <laughs> yeah i would go but our teacher didn't care yeah she didn't say she anything. did not care and I think she was one of those teachers where it's like, if you want a problem starter, she didn't care. Yeah. And didn't we have somebody in the class who was like, oh, yeah. We had, we had. You know um, what I'm talking about, right? With us? No. No? Oh, okay. Okay, everyone. We have, uh, we had to change cameras because my camera battery died, so we're on my phone now. Quality is different. I know. Sorry. It's just. We did a lot of videos today. B was doing something like in the quad and it was a whole bunch of people like around there looking to see what they were doing. And I was looking at whatever they were doing down there and Jadion was like, hey, he's over there. And I was like, where? She was like, he's across the way. Yeah. And she was like, I think he's like staring you down. And mm -hmm. I'm like, where? And I think Jaden, Jaden is like, don't get me wrong, I love Jaden, I do. But her, like, she's just one of those people where you're just like, why do you need to do that? Like, there's been times where she would literally point out the obvious. Like, whenever there was an awkward moment, she'd be like, oh, this is awkward. And she'd point out the awkward, I'm like, Jaden, you don't have to say that. Like, I'm pretty sure we all secretly knew that it was awkward, mm -hmm. but she took it a step further and be like, oh, this is awkward, and it just made it even more awkward because she would point out the awkward. Mm -hmm. And there were times where one like one of the guys that I liked, whenever they were around, she'd be like, Oh my gosh, Kiara, Kiara, he's right there and I'm like, If he's right there, shut up. Like she would just be so loud about it and I'm just like, I'm pretty sure they heard you, like, chill, calm down. Mm -hmm. And so 
when we were at whatever this event they were having at lunch in the quad, like ASB, um, she literally goes like this, points across the way at him. And I'm just like, could you be even more obvious? <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, I want to say that I think he was looking at us, but at the same time, he could have just been looking at whatever they were doing in the quad. That's true, but the problem was that they had staring problems. Like Yes, they did. Like, like they you can tell when somebody's like, La, like they're in La La Land and mm -hmm. they're just like looking at something but they were just like yeah staring at you yeah but at that time old Kiara was like he's freaking staring at me but now I'm thinking about it like after a couple <laughs> of years I'm kind of like he, he could have been staring at me or he could have just been looking at whatever they were doing down there I don't know or like you would end up bumping into him like during passing period mm -hmm. or something but yeah it's just it it was some interesting times there oh yeah this is something i did put down in my notes so i decided just to not have a first period and come in during second period before second period started and so did overalls and there were times in the morning where i purposely parked it next to him oh yeah <laughs> i remember that yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so there were times it wasn't often but there were <clears throat> times where Either he he would stay late at school for tutoring or something, and mm -hmm. then by the time we get out of choir, he'd be leaving. Or we wouldn't have seventh period, which was not very often. There were just random times where we didn't have seventh period, and I'd be able to leave when he leaves school regularly. I think <laughs> at one point, too, like, you were purposely trying to, like, I guess, leave early from seventh period just to, like, was it seventh? When you, when you would see him? Or when was it? Mm. Like you, okay, so what I'm trying to say is like you would want to like get there at the same time as he would come out so you can like see him. Are you sure we're not or was seeing it? a different guy? Oh. <laughs> That's another story. Because I think you guys are confusing me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, there's another guy. <laughs> We're not gonna so discuss that today. Might discuss that on a later date. Go to my car, just sit there for a little while and chill. And then wait till he leaves. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes I'll park next to him or... And just try to get one of their attention. <laughs> I think that's all as far as like the whole shenanigans. But that's my story of one of the guys that I used to like. In high school and I attempted to try to get at but not really I didn't really I, at the time I thought I was doing something but in all honesty now I think about it and I'm like I really didn't do anything but just make eye contact with him try to park next to him um, try not really try but I ended up knowing people who knew him so yeah it was just <laughs> anyway that's it for today's video Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.